And welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Terry McFadden, class of 1983. I'm joined now in the studio by Era Parsegian. Now, during the era of Era, he coached the Fighting Irish to two national championships and an overall record of 95 wins, 17 losses, and four ties, matched only by the likes of Leahy and Rockney in Notre Dame history. And, uh, Coach, you are truly uh, in rare uh, company when you speak of those names. And we are so thrilled that you could be here with us today. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, Coach. Thank you very much. And also joining us, uh, another Notre Dame legend in my <laughs> estimation, Gregory Crawford, the Vice President and Associate Provost, who still finds time to lead the College of uh, Science as its dean. Uh, dean Crawford, uh, thrilled to have you as well here with, uh, with Coach Parsegan. And you're all about team Coach Parsegan, and right here we've got a dynamic duo of a team. You two have been working closely together to find cures for rare diseases, one in particular that's dear to your heart, Coach. Uh, what brought you, a football coach and a scientist like Dr. Greg here, together? I think God dropped him down from heaven, <laughs> really. We, you know, we, we've been at this for a long time, and uh, you kind of run out of steam sometimes, and all of a sudden he shows up, and he's a whirlwind. You know what they talk about in athletics? The blue chip player, he's more than just blue chip. He's energized our entire foundation. He's run a bicycle back and forth across the country yeah. four times, tried that for size. And I mean, he's been just wonderful. I mean, and we've made a great team. I mean, what he's done for us and in our foundation, what we've done accelerating our, uh, all the experiments that we have, National Institute of Health, he has all the answers to those things. And, of course, we're talking about Neiman uh, pick type C, C uh, disease, which claimed, unfortunately, three of your grandchildren. And talk about what the foundation has done since it was founded way back in 1994. One of the most devastating things that has ever happened to me in my life was in the fall of 1994. And it was when we learned that our three youngest grandchildren uh, had this mysterious disease that we, nobody knew much about. And it was on a football weekend, believe it or not. And that's when Cindy and Mike decided, along with our, our entire family, that we were going to try to do something about this. Very little was known. There wasn't even a paragraph to, uh, or to find out what a, a diagnostic test. And we, do. we finally got a diagnostic test where people can go somewhere and find out about this disease. And so maybe I've strayed away a little bit from what you were looking for, but what I'm, we have, what uh, Greg and the rest of the foundation has done, we've raised over $45 million. It has all basically gone to the research uh, for this. We have drugs that are, and you can, uh, Greg can answer that question better than I can, uh, that are now in the NIH and some of them promising. So, uh, so people, who will have children later diagnosed, will have somewhere to go and hopefully a pure cure. Which did not exist at all when, unfortunately, your three grandchildren There was were practically diagnosed. zero knowledge about this disease. But we've made people aware of it and we've gone in the right direction. And Greg can bring you up to date on all the research that's going in Washington. And why is Notre Dame such a great place for fighting a disease like this? Why is it such a great research tool in helping Coach Parsegan and other families that may face this down the road? Yeah, the Center for Rare and Neglected Diseases is a perfect mission fit for the university. If you look at rare diseases, you know, in some cases, like Neiman Pick, there may be less than a thousand kids in the country, and there's no way uh, industry will pick it up and, and search for a cure. It's just too expensive. There's no way the government would fund it because it's just one of 8,000 other rare diseases. And so you have to do unusual things. And so we partner together to uh, make those things happen from runs to bike rides to pebble beach tournaments to <laughs> golfing to whatever it takes. You know, it's whatever it's going to take to get this thing done. We're going to do it. And, uh, and so Coach has been a great mentor to us all, more than a coach, but a life mentor. And he ramps, he revs up all the scientists, gets them engaged and involved. and. Uh, and now we're getting close. You're kind of like his offensive coordinator in this fight, aren't you? <laughs> he's, he's my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> offensive coordinator. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and the centerpiece of your efforts, Doc, uh, have been this road to discovery tour. For folks who aren't familiar with it, uh, you've peddled quite a bit for this cause. Sure. So I've, this is, I've gone across the country 
four times. I'm doing my fifth ride this year. And, um, and when I got to Notre Dame, I'm, I'm a physicist by training, but I met Cindy and Mike and I met Coach, and I was gonna oversee the Center for Rare Disease, but I wanted to be a part of it in a bigger way. And so I didn't know what to do exactly, and so I thought perhaps I could bike ride and raise money and raise awareness going across the country, and so that's kind of how I played out the mission. And it was just interesting because uh, growing up, we only watched Notre Dame football in the house. That's, my dad would only let me watch that. And so I wanted to play for Coach Farsegian. <laughs> You know, it's eight or a Didn't we all? <laughs> we, everybody does, and right? And then in some strange way, it comes full circle, and I get to play for him now in a very different way. Okay, and, and we couldn't let you go unless we asked you, how, how's this year's version of the Irish looking, Coach? I got to see part of the uh, spring game, but it's a convoluted scoring system and so forth. But I got the impression that they're going to be pretty good. Got two quarterbacks, and they've got a lot of experience coming back because of all the injuries defensively. Uh, I'm, I'm, my general feeling about it is a good one. The schedule is difficult like it always has been, uh, but I think they have a, particularly coming off the LSU win, those two quarterbacks in that game playing at the same time put a dimension to their offense that they didn't have during the season. So I, I, uh, I don't want to put the hat on Brian <laughs> because I had enough hats on me. But, uh, but I, I just feel comfortable about what I saw and the, the amount of talent they have. Wonderful. Thanks for both of you for joining us today. And uh, we couldn't thank you enough, Greg, for your efforts and for you soldiering on, Coach Parsegian, uh, for this, this noble cause and this life-saving cause that we hope. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mo?